Firewall fam, we got a good Friday workout for you today. We got some strength work followed by some kind of uncon not unconventional, but different type of conditioning work with a couple of Tabata. So we're gonna go over that strength work or accessory work first. It's gonna be 15 minutes. So it's a good amount of time to rotate through these three movements. We're gonna get eight to 12 reps in each arm of a dumbbell hammer curl. I'm gonna go over just a second what denotes how many reps you should do. Then we're gonna get eight per arm in of our dumbbell bent over row. Then we're gonna get three per arm in of a, a tempo dumbbell press from sitting on a chair, not the floor, okay? And with each of these dumbbell presses, you're gonna take five seconds to come all the way back down to your shoulder to really get those muscles firing. So this is what this is gonna look like. For the eight to 12 reps, it really depends on what weight you have at your house. So if you have a weight that's heavier, you want to be picking a lower rep scheme. So we ideally wanna do these all unbroken. If you have a heavier rep, we're gonna do eight, sorry, a heavier weight, you're gonna do eight reps. If you have a lighter weight, up the reps to 12 each arm. So based off of that, you can choose how many reps you wanna do that day. The hammer curl is gonna look like this. I'm just gonna stand up with my feet under my hips, my core nice and stable, my palms facing my body. So I don't have my palm facing out, and of course I don't have my palm facing behind me. It's gonna be pointing right in. From here, I am gonna flex that bicep. I'm gonna curl this way all the way up to my shoulder, and then I'm gonna come back down. I'm gonna make sure I'm not swaying at all, meaning I'm not using my hips to get a little momentum to get that dumbbell up. I want this to be nice and strict, slow and controlled all the way back down. So again, depending on what weight you have at your house, eight to 12 reps on each arm there. Then the dumbbell bent over row for this one, Dumbbells in my right hand. I'm gonna plant my left hand on the box. My left foot's gonna be near my hand that's planted, and my back foot's gonna be the foot of which the dumbbell is in the hand. So I'm gonna keep my back nice and flat. I'm gonna reach that shoulder down. Then I'm really gonna think about driving my elbow up to the ceiling. I might get a slight pause, and when I'm up here, I'm thinking about my shoulder blades pinching together, then I'm controlling that weight back down. So I'm exploding up, pinch for a second, control down. What we don't want to see is this for the dump. Then lastly, we have three per arm of the tempo dumbbell press from sitting on a chair to five second descent each rep. So I'm going to use this box as my chair. Feel free to grab any chair at your house to do this. We're going to sit right on it. I'm going to get that dumbbell up on my shoulder. My feet are in about a squat stance. I'm going to make sure my ribs stay down by using my other hand as kind of a reminder. My elbows up. I'm going to take a big breath in and then I'm going to exhale as I press up and then I'm going to take five seconds to come back down to my shoulder. That's a true five seconds, not a five, four, three, two, one. So here's what it'll look like. Five, four, three, two, one. As soon as the dumbbell makes contact with the shoulder, I'm going to press up again. Five, four, three, two, one, and then I press right back up for my third rep. So you do three on one arm, then three more reps on the other. We're gonna try to rotate through that about four or five times in the 15 minutes. So that's gonna be our strength work. Your shoulders are gonna be on fire. You're gonna get a real good pump on this Friday. Then our conditioning piece is gonna be Tabata hollow rocks. Then you're gonna get a one minute rest. Then you're gonna do a Tabata dumbbell push press. A Tabata constitutes eight rounds of 20 seconds of work and 10 seconds of rest. So for the hollow hold, we're gonna be down on the ground here. Few different options we have for you today. We can start nice and basic and we're gonna progress up. I can tuck my knees in, hands on the fronts of my knees. I'm gonna make sure my shoulder blades are not touching that ground. I'm rocking to the middle of my back and then getting my feet to hover right over the floor without my heels touching. The next step I could do would be to extend one leg out again. I don't want my heel to touch the ground or my shoulder blades. So I'm rocking to my middle back, then coming back up. I could then try maybe both feet coming out, keeping my legs locked down. And then finally, I could add in my hands up overhead. I can maybe slightly tuck my knees. Any type of combination there you can do for your Tabata. 
After that, you're gonna be resting that minute, and then the Tabata dumbbell push press. So it's eight rounds of 20 seconds of work, 10 seconds of rest. And you're gonna do four rounds alternating back and forth for each arm. So I'm gonna get the first 20 seconds on my right arm where I'm getting a little dip in my knees. I'm gonna drive that dumbbell straight up, and then I'm coming right back down. So I'm doing this for 20 minutes. 20, 20, Woo! 20 seconds. After the 20 seconds, I'm gonna take a quick 10 second rest. I may put my dumbbell down, shake it out. Then I'm alternating to my left hand. And now I'm gonna do 20 seconds of dumbbell push presses there. What we really want you to think on these dumbbell push presses today, team, is not just burn out the shoulder, but use your hips as much as you can. From the very beginning, we wanna to try to be driving that dumbbell off the shoulder into that locked out position not pressing the dumbbell off of the shoulder. So rely on the hips, not the shoulders. Another last thing we wanna mention is stay consistent as possible in your Tabata. Your first round, your first interval I should say, and your last interval should only be about a rep or two apart. And keep that consistent for the hollow rocks and both the dumbbell push presses as well. It's a good one, have fun with it, big pump, lots of conditioning.